The Metal Gear Solid games have been known to include some silly and fun stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that you might have missed while you were running around fighting your evil twin brother. So let's take a look at some hidden secrets in Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. While the player is being led by Meryl through the caves and before you head through the doorway at the very end, if you hit Meryl and immediately hide in the cardboard box, a wolf will run over and just pee on top of you. If you equip this pee covered box while running through these tunnels later, the other wolves won't attack you because you smell just like one of them. Or at least something they've peed on I guess. Rats can play a slightly annoying role in the game too. Towards the end of the game, when you have to use the PAL key to stop the nuclear launch, Snake will drop the card into a drainage ditch down below. Sometimes when searching for the card you will discover it's been eaten by a rat. You can get the card back by shooting this rat if you want to, but you could always just blow him up. During the game's torture scene, Ocelot will tell you that if you die, you won't be able to continue from that point and will only get game over. If you haven't saved the game in a long time before this point, an extra line will be thrown in here too. Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Later in the cell you have a few methods to escape, from hiding under your bunk to faking your death with a ketchup bottle. If you take too long in here and still haven't escaped, eventually the ninja will show up to set you free. And if you're having trouble escaping from the guard that patrols, you can always just run straight by him and wait for chronic diarrhea to take him out for you. There are a few special codec conversations you can activate by doing specific things in the game. If you repeatedly call Mei Ling and keep choosing do not save, she will stop talking to you when you call. Keep doing it enough times and she'll stick out her tongue at you. If you take a long time in the starting dock area, once you get off the elevator the colonel will make fun of Snake's skills being rusty. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. While fighting the high indeed, the colonel will normally tell you that you can listen and hear which side the helicopter is on. But if you're using a mono TV or have the game set to mono in the options, the team will be surprised that you haven't moved with the times. Huh? Snake, you're not using a stereo TV? It can't be. A mono TV? Hmm. Well, Colonel, there's nothing we can do about it. I guess you're right. Snake, don't worry about it. There's more to being a good person than just having a stereo television. You can do it just the way you are. Mono TV. While walking around on a noisy floor, if you call Master Miller, he'll tell Snake how to walk more quietly. To walk so your footsteps won't be heard. I call it stalking. But when Snake tells him he can't do it, Miller has a unique suggestion for him. Another way is to wear your socks over your shoes. While looking for Meryl in the women's bathroom, if you call Nastasha, she'll be slightly annoyed at you. Snake, that is a woman's bathroom. You should not be in there. But if you call Mei Ling, she'll be a little more upset. Snake, that's a lady's bathroom. I know that. Some Meryl come in here. So you're waiting after her? Are you some kind of pervert? I won't let you save your mission now. Listen, Mei Ling, this is the only place on the base that I can talk to Meryl alone. Whatever, weirdo. Don't call me again. And speaking of finding Meryl in the women's bathroom, if you're running quickly after her, Meryl won't have time to finish changing out of her uniform. Don't. And because it's Metal Gear, you're then treated to a cutscene of Meryl with no trousers Something on. Something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. In the area that follows, before fighting Psycho Mantis, if you keep staring at Meryl for a while she'll get more and more embarrassed, eventually turning bright red from Snake's creepy gaze. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. While Meryl is under Psycho Mantis's influence, if the player enters first person view they'll be able to look through Meryl's eyes at Snake. Who knew she sees everything in black and white? If you kill Meryl while she's under the influence of Mantis too, Snake will fall to his knees in sadness and just give up on life. Later, if you hurt Meryl after she's been shot by Sniper Wolf by, say, throwing a grenade at her, nobody on the team is going to be too happy. Why? Snake. Snake, what the hell? Are you trying to kill Meryl? You've gone insane? 
Every Metal Gear game is filled with strange and interesting bosses, and there's a few secrets hidden in the boss fights of MGS. If you kill some of the crows before fighting Vulcan Raven, not only will the rest of the team be kind of annoyed at you. Snake, we're not paying you to be a scarecrow, you know. Oh, things. Ravens are God's creatures too, Snake. But Raven himself will add an extra line into his speech before the boss battle starts. How dare you kill my friends? When you fight Revolver Ocelot early in the game, he'll usually tell you how good it feels to fight someone with your skills. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My head! But if you repeatedly die while fighting him, he'll tell you how disappointed he is instead. I'm disappointed. You're no match for the boss. Playtime's over, friend. You're not cut out for war. Don't worry. I'll kill you quickly. What? And finally, the boss battle with Psycho Mantis has one of the most interesting ways to beat it, having to switch your controller into a different port so he can't read your input. But that's not the only way to beat Mantis. If you die after Campbell tells you to switch controller ports, the next time you do the fight, Campbell will ask you if there's some reason why you can't switch to port 2, and tell you the real way to defeat Mantis. Oh, well, it's okay. Do you see something that looks like a statue on both sides of the room? Yeah. You mean those things with their faces all wrapped up in leather bands? Yes. Attack those statues to uncover their faces. Why? Those statues were modeled after Mantis's real face. Mantis despises the sight of his own face. He suddenly sees his own disfigured face staring at him. It might break his concentration. Snake, if you destroy the faces of those statues, you should be able to disturb Mantis's psychic powers. And there you have it, some fun and interesting secrets from Metal Gear Solid 1. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more gaming goodness. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Games Plus James. And if you want to find me on other social networks, you can find the links down below. Find me on Twitter, find me on Facebook, and you can follow me over on Twitch.tv as well, where I play games live and I also work on development of my own game, Portal Knots. So make sure and hit me up and I'll see you all very soon.